Hey guys, uh, welcome to a special kind of video. Uh, this video is going to be dedicated to checking out the new revamped Structures Plus Tech Transmitter Dino Scanning System. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the new mechanics of the Dino Scanning System. Um, it's been completely redone. Um, and it's pretty freaking awesome. I am super happy about it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, so here is the tech transmitter. It, it, it's unlocked, you know, along with the regular vanilla tech transmitter. Um, I mean, that is a prerequisite for it. Uh, but the way it used to work is it would, the dinos would update or were supposed to update every 15 minutes. And so you would come in here and you would do dino scan and it would bring up a list of of, of creatures, uh, both vanilla and modded. Um, and but it it could be upwards of, uh, like it could be at least fifteen minutes behind. Which is, I mean, that's a long time. You know, dinos they fight and they do things, and it, all these things happen that you just can't control. Um, and so the the information could be completely and very inaccurate. Um, which has it, been an issue. It's been an issue. But Orion Sun, who is the dev of Structures Plus, has re completely revamped it. <laughs> like, completely revamped it. It's so much better. Uh, so what he says about it is Dinoscan has been completely revamped with a new UI and new functionality. The dino or the list of dino types is now separated into two lists with currently spawned on top of the ones without any spawns. So if we come in here and it says, yeah, don't pay attention to that. Um, I do have the prevent hibernation uh, steam launch parameter. Uh, so which is why, yeah, we've got pretty much everything. I mean, there's a few things in here that it's not showing and I'm not sure if they just aren't around or what. Uh, but these are the current ones that are spawned on, you know, in this game. Like these are the ones that are that like actually exist in this game. And then the ones down here are the ones that don't exist currently. They do have spawns. They're just not here right now is what I'm understanding. And I believe you can actually come in here and go like that. That alone, huge. <laughs> that is huge. Okay. Just being able to search without just having to scroll through the list to see what's there. Amazing. Okay. And so that's that part of it. Uh, well, and then the filter. Uh, and then it says, yeah, the filter. Um, whoa, that bird freaked me out. Uh, there's new configs, disable dino scan details. It hides the longitude and latitude because it does tell you if you select something. Obviously, you know, just like before, it tells you what it, you know, it gives you its name, uh, the level, the latitude, and then the longitude. And so it tells you where it is uh, and as well as what level it is. So you can always go for the highest level if you want. Um, and then an another new config is disable dino scan map won't show the map when a dino is clicked. So it's over here. Oh, that is freaking awesome. It's like, okay, this is where it is. It's in this box <laughs> somewhere. On this map, that's a pretty big box. But the fact that it shows, you know, it says, hey, it's over here. You can then, you know, close this, open your own map and go, okay, I see that spot. Let's go. Right? Very good. Uh, and so, you know, that config will disable that portion of it. Uh, and then the new scan process. So it says, uh, the world loads a list of all spawnable dinos. Or wait, the the world loads and, and a list of all spawnable dinos is compiled once. That means all the dinos that could possibly spawn in your world through mods, through vanilla, through whatever is compiled. So it gets a list of those dinos. And it holds on to that list. And then uh, when the dino scan UI is open, the server will check that list to see which ones are spawned and cache that data for one minute. Now, what that means is that refreshes that list 
every minute. So that list is never more than a minute old. Awesome. Every minute <laughs> it updates the list of, of creatures. Awesome. Uh, and then it says, uh, when a dino type is selected, a list of the dinos is requested from the server and is cached for 30 seconds. Now, what that means is the, the current list of dinos is never more than 30 seconds old. That's insane. So like, if you click here, this will update in like 30 seconds. And so you could, you know, close this out, come back to it in 30 seconds, and it will show you different ones. If there are different ones, obviously. Um... And then it says the server then determines the location of those matching dinos and will and sends it to the client. So that's just saying the server says this is where it is and it's now showing it to me. So what does this mean? <laughs> this means that the the tech transmitter it's always been a viable thing, right? It 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 does help. But the way it worked before, it, like I said, it was very very unreliable at times. And then there were certain times where it wouldn't show just certain dinos. Like, I, I know the old system had an issue with Dragon Gods and Indominus Rex. Because they don't technically have a spawn container. They can spawn anywhere. That's the whole point of them. They, don't, they aren't determined by the spawning of the map. And that's why Dragon Gods and Indominus Rex Nemesis work so well with any map. Any map. Because they don't, you know, they're not determined. Uh, you know, their spawns aren't determined by the map and, you know, the containers and all of that stuff. So that means that this this is so much more viable. You are never more than a minute away from fresh, new intel as far as where a creature is. That's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is amazing. And as you can see, it does work with my... I have. I currently have Anunnaki Genesis installed. And you can see, so we've got some BA stuff going on down there. And there's some champions. And then there was a, a warden right there. And it'll tell you where that is. Right? And so this is, this is truly amazing. And so I wanted to just do this video just to help those people that maybe were a tiny bit, con you know, confused or just not even aware that this has updated. It is freaking amazing. <laughs> I am so happy about this. Let me tell you. So happy about this. I've been waiting for an overhaul of the dino scanning system from Structures Plus for a, for a while. And this is a massive, massive, massive improvement. So... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it a bit informational, instructed, like it helped in some kind of way with the dino scanning procedure. Um, it does work in single player. I will put the, the parameter down in the description to put in your Steam launch parameters uh, to disable hibernation on single player and non-dedicated servers. Um, it's... It does use more juice because it keeps... The, what hibernation does is when a dino on single player goes into hibernation, it's, in essence, deleted. It doesn't exist anymore. And so that's why this runs into issues in single player is because that dino just doesn't exist anymore. So when you prevent hibernation, it keeps all those dinos just like it would on like an actual server. So... Yeah, and a non-dedicated, that's like just running off your machine for you and your friends. So, yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys found this this video helpful in some kind of way. And, yeah, happy dino hunting, man. I'm going to be happy dino hunting, that's for sure.